Hey guys, I just want to give you guys a quick review of this Spremo personal air monitor. I actually found this on Kickstarter and I thought it was a pretty cool concept because how cool would it be to uh, detect the air quality using your phone and with this little sensor. It's kind of like, reminds me of like a Star Trek tricorder or something like that. Or it's a step in the right direction. Uh, nice packaging. And I I did already open it, but uh, basically I'll show you the inside. Basically you have the you have the device and it kind of goes like that. So they basically used, you know, the minimal amount of packaging and it's it's holding it in place, so that's fine. Uh, here's the actual documentation. And the documentation is a little bit on the cheap side. That's upside down. The documentation is a little bit on the cheap side. But, I mean, it, it's no big deal. I can read it. Um, I was... A little disappointed though as I was reading it because because as I was reading it down here toward the bottom it says each time you plug in Pam it will need to warm up for five minutes and the reason why I was disappointed at that was because According to, I mean, when you look at the Kickstarter campaign, you don't have to warm up at all. It just, you just plug it in and you're ready to go. It gives a, it gives the, the, the air quality of your location. So um, now, not only do you have to warm it up for five minutes, but you also have to calibrate it as well. So here's my phone, and. The app is actually free. This is a this is an iPhone 8 Plus, and if I plug it here, and it just snaps into place. But when I did first open it, I was I was a little bit disappointed because this this unit here doesn't look as cool as what they show on the Kickstarter campaign. The one on Kickstarter campaign looked pretty cool. Uh, this one here is very, it's just very basic plastic. But as you can see here, it is warming up. And it's going to be like that for five minutes. Uh, basically, the concept is this thing detects what's called VOCs. And VOCs are volatile organic compounds, I believe. And it's what is emitted by certain solids and liquids and so this thing is you know kind of like paint or you know you got your uh, uh, certain kinds of uh, solid stuff I think um, on their Kickstarter ad uh, they they had like uh, they kind of showed a comparison between like a new car and a used car kind of thing and uh, the kind of fumes that come out of the materials of new materials in a, in a new car or something uh, but as you can see here, this thing, you need to pretty much either have a case that has an opening on this whole bottom part, or at least wide enough for this, or just use it without a case. Now, according to their campaign, it you can use it with a case, but that's not really the case, actually. Sorry for using that like that, that word like that, but it's right over here. It's only about uh, the I guess the spacing between this and the bottom of your phone is only about one millimeter or even less than that. I didn't actually measure it, but it's very tight. So certain cases, I guess uh, like Apple's um, leather case, that might fit because it kind of, Apple's leather case kind of goes to about, maybe about right here and right about right here. And then there's like a large opening for the bottom part. So that would, it would probably work with that. But I had this case right here. I had this case, which is not what you call a heavy duty case. It's not a thick case or anything by any means, but it wouldn't work with this case because the hole right here, let's see if I can focus that. I can't really focus that, it's too close. But the hole for the lightning connector, that that's just this tiny little hole right there and the 
and cables lightning lightning cables fit fine there but there's this cushion right here along uh, right right next to the actual hole for the connector and that that cushion even though it is really thin it's just enough where this this um, PAM device is not going to fit in so right now we do have it at about three minutes just shy of just just a little bit more than three minutes and it's got to keep warming up until the five minute mark now when I first got this I had a hard time even going through the calibration because you know you, you press I here for information and it tells you each of the steps it tells you like a warming up you got your self calibration phase one and two and I guess this is just initially when it happens when when you first kind of boot it up or first use it with your device it'll kind of go through these self calibration phases because I guess it has to pull more data or something but I would think I would think that um, measurements would be the same anywhere you go and not sure why it has to calibrate and why you have to basically you have to move from different parts of your house or you, you have to like expose the sensor to uh, different um, um, environments so that it can self calibrate and I thought that was um, kind of strange and uh, kind of like you have to do a lot of work to get this going but eventually I was able to get it going it is at four minutes and 25 seconds so we are just about there it gives you um, temperature readout as well and humidity so I guess that kinda factors in in terms of the air quality now I did bring this to work I work in a very old building and that had really poor air quality so you can kind of guess here as it's warming up there's like a little green mark right a little green rectangle or triangle here and so right here in my bedroom now it's, now that it's five minutes is up it's done it's giving me a reading of 6.6 6.7 and it fluctuates it fluctuates so it's not going to stay at one certain point it's going to fluctuate depending on airflow as well so that's why they they that's probably why they say it's for indoor use only but according to this the air quality in my bedroom is moderate now again like I mentioned at work it's an old building uh, brick uh, is an old government building and that one goes like way down to like three or something like that and is and it's uh, obviously that's very poor air quality but right here it's moderate but that's a bit that's essentially it with this this personal air monitor and again just if you get this just be prepared every time you plug it in you have to wait five minutes for it to warm up and then that first time you've got to go through all these little self calibrations you, know, you have to go through the self calibration phase one and then phase two and then finally you'll be able to get your results but that you pretty much have to only do it one time and then after that you just have to plug it in and just wait five minutes and then you get your reading but thanks a lot guys and again I'll show you the links uh, I'll post the links at the bottom of the uh, put, put in the description part so if you want to check it out, you can go ahead and check it out.